Stepping down, that is the word from Boeing CEO following a series of high profile safety and manufacturing questions. CBS 2's Darius Johnson breaks down what the shakeup means for the industry and passengers. Leaving Boeing, CEO David Calhoun, Independent Board Chair Larry Kellner, and President and CEO of Commercial Airlines, Stan Deal. Calhoun's not leaving until the end of the year unless they find him a replacement sooner. Uh, and that's my biggest worry is that who's going to be running the show uh, in the meantime? That's business jet pilot and aviation expert Robert Mark. I'm more worried about how Boeing is going to continue to produce great uh, safe operating aircraft. I mean, they've been in this business for a hundred years. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg says their history got them here. In 2018 and 2019, two 737 MAX 8 jets crashed, killing nearly 350 people. Boeing paid out $2.5 billion to settle. That now investigation has been reopened. That is a pretty big deal. Three investigations are currently underway into the door plug that blew off a 737 MAX 9 in January. There are still Boeing employees downtown in this building, but the company moved its headquarters to Virginia in 2022. Robert Mark says that was possibly a mistake since those at the top are no longer meeting with those who are building aircraft. So they're going to need leadership in there that gets back down on the floor and realizes that the product and the people that make it are the most important. This change comes as passengers continue to question their aircraft and airliners are left with fewer options. Right now, the airlines don't really have a lot of leverage here to say to Boeing, OK, we're going to go buy Airbus planes now because the Airbus order book is already full. So the real question is now, how can you fix the system? Reporting in Chicago, I'm Darius Johnson, CBS 2 News. Meanwhile, Chicago-based United Airlines is under increased scrutiny from the Federal Aviation Administration. This comes after nearly a dozen incidents involving United in just over a month. As a result, any future expansion plans or new routes could be delayed.